RRNA, tRNA, and mRNA. All RNA is derived from DNA during a process known as transcription. Transcription is the process of synthesizing RNA from DNA. Your DNA codes for many different types of RNA such as RRNA, tRNA, and mRNA. RRNA stands for ribosomal RNA. This type of RNA will eventually be converted into ribosomes and accounts for 80% of the total RNA found in a given cell. Ribosomes are specialized proteins that work to convert mRNA into functional proteins during a process known as translation. Like rRNA, tRNA are very important for translation. tRNA stands for transfer RNA, which exactly describes their function. These specialized tRNA transfer amino acids during the translation of mRNA into proteins. Each of the 20 amino acids binds to a specific tRNA and is deposited onto the growing peptide chain. mRNA stands for messenger RNA. This type of RNA is made during transcription and holds the blueprint for a functional protein. mRNA is directly made from your genes and creates proteins coded for by your DNA. Difference between RNA, tRNA, and mRNA Let's finish off by looking at the differences between RRNA, tRNA, and mRNA. RRNA, tRNA, and mRNA are all RNA molecules, but each has different functions. RRNA make up ribosomes. Within the ribosome, there are two different types of RRNA, small RRNA and large RRNA. These RRNA make up the small and large subunits respectively. These specialized tRNA transfer amino acids during the translation of mRNA into proteins. Each of the 20 amino acids binds to a specific tRNA and is deposited onto the growing peptide chain during translation. Lastly, mRNA houses the blueprint of your genes that will be translated into functional proteins needed for cell signaling and overall metabolism. If this video was helpful for you, so please do like, share and subscribe to this channel.